the news media loves to cover controversial topics. They bring in experts and reporters, they debate, discuss, and formulate opinions on the topic of the day. Over the past several years, climate change has been at the forefront of these news programs, and in my opinion, all they've managed to do is confuse the public about the main issues. I've heard about the polar bears that no longer have a home because of the lack of sea ice. I've heard about glaciers retreating in some areas and growing in others. I heard about cherry blossoms in Japan blooming several days earlier than they would have otherwise bloomed for centuries. In addition to this, the reports of sea level rise and the threats that this may continue to substantially rise further are talked about repeatedly on the news. There are reports of incredible drought and flood at the same time. Add this to Hurricane Katrina, which is the costliest U.S. natural disaster in history, and the 2003 heat wave in Europe that killed 50,000 people, and all we hear is evidence for climate change. Then, in 2007, Al Gore, along with the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, were awarded the Nobel Prize for their work in understanding global climate change. However, aside from Al Gore's documentary, An Inconvenient Truth, we've not heard much from the IPCC and what they have found. Some say there's complete scientific consensus that climate change is anthropogenic, in other words, man-made. But there are other things like ClimateGate, which was a scandal where a bunch of emails were taken out of context and used to spread doubt about the findings of the IPCC. I think one of the major struggles in all of our understanding of climate change is that the people that know the most about it, like the scientists that serve on the IPCC, are often not the people we hear from about climate change. If we add all this to the emergence of the blockbuster movie like Day After Tomorrow, with its amazing computer-generated scenes of massive merging ice hurricanes, frozen oceans in the tropics, and tornadoes in Los Angeles, you've got one very confusing and contradicting picture on the issue of global climate change. So is any of this true? Can we put it all into perspective? Can we learn to see through the twists and turns of the reported media and start to understand what climate change is and why it is or isn't happening? That is the goal of this first lesson, and we are going to ask ourselves fundamental questions so as to determine the underlying science behind climate change. Before we get on to our next lecture topic, take a few minutes and participate in the Climate Change Survey.